the cost of gas has gone up so much. Hey guys, John here. With the cost of gas going up, it, you may be wondering, well, how much does it cost to charge an electric car? And am I paying too much to get myself another mile down the road? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you how much I pay to charge my electric car and how that compares to two gas vehicles that we owned prior, a Honda CRV and a Chevy Silverado pickup truck, which was not shy on the gas, if you know what I mean. Let's start with some basics about electric vehicles in terms of efficiency and charging, which will help us get right to the costs, right? Because it's all about the money. First up is the battery storage capacity. Drawing a parallel to gas cars, this is the fuel tank of an electric vehicle. Battery capacities are typically measured in kilowatt hours. A kilowatt is a thousand watts. Think of it like having enough electricity to power 10 100 watt light bulbs. Then you might ask, what's a kilowatt hour? Well, just like it sounds, it would be enough power to light 10 100 watt light bulbs for one hour. So moving this back into electric cars, how many kilowatt hours are in car batteries? This depends on the type of vehicle. Plug-in electrics and shorter range fully electric vehicles have a battery capacity or fuel tank in the 16 to 50 kilowatt hour range. And longer range vehicles typically have batteries ranging from 65 kilowatt hours up to 100 kilowatt hours. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to share with you my numbers. So we'll use the Tesla Model Y's battery capacity of 75 kilowatt hours to determine the charging costs. From here, I can calculate how much it costs to charge the battery completely from zero to 100% fully charged. Well, looking at my electric bill, I pay 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Depending on where you live and whether you have peak and non-peak time of day rates, your hourly rate may be higher or lower. But just sticking to simple math, if I multiply 75 kilowatt hours by 13 cents per kilowatt hour, I calculate that it costs me $9.75 to charge my car's battery from empty to completely full. The next thing we need to look at is how efficient the car uses stored electricity in the battery to determine how many miles we can drive when fully charged. So similar to miles per gallon that is used in gas cars, electric vehicles use a number like watt hours per mile. And this is how much of a battery's energy is used to move the vehicle one mile down the road. This varies throughout the year based on temperature, driving speed, and terrain, but we can look up the average energy consumption online for most electric vehicles. Or if the vehicle provides it, look at the vehicle's history over a period of time. In my Model Y, I've kept one of the trip meters running since I've purchased the vehicle. And this tells me that over all the miles that I've driven my car, which is in a northern climate with temperatures ranging from below zero to above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, my vehicle uses an average of 323 watt hours per mile. If I take the battery's capacity of 75,000 watt hours, which is the same as 75 kilowatt hours, and divide it by 323 watt hours per mile, for each mile that it drives, I get an average range of 232 miles from a fully charged battery. Keep in mind that real world range varies from what the EPA states a car's range is due to driving conditions that I mentioned before, such as speed, temperature, and terrain. So now that I've determined that it costs $9.75 to charge the battery, and that that will provide 232 miles of driving, I can do the math to see that it costs 4.2 cents for each mile that I drive my car. And from here, I'll just cut to the chase to compare total energy costs for my Tesla and previous gas vehicles. The cost of driving 37,500 miles, which is what I've driven my Tesla so far, is $1,575. This also assumes that 100% of my energy came from my home at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. However, when I drive and charge as superchargers, the cost of charging is much higher. It's closer to 30 cents a kilowatt hour. So about 20% of my driving has been with supercharging, and if I factor that in, that brings up the total cost to about $2,000. By comparison, and we're gonna use today's gas prices over the same amount of miles, the Honda CRV, which we got about 30 miles per gallon with, at $3.79 per gallon, would cost $4,737. And hold on to your socks, the Chevy Silverado, whew, 18 miles per gallon, 
that costs about $7,900. So over two years of driving, the Chevy Silverado was about four times more expensive than the Tesla Model Y. So that's a pretty big difference in terms of fuel costs for operating the vehicle. Another thing to keep in mind though is that these are just fuel cost differences. Now I replaced the tires on my Model Y after 30,000 miles at a cost of about $1,200, but I really haven't had other maintenance needs such as oil changes, radiator fluid servicing, or four-wheel drive differential services that I had with the gas vehicles. And so that factors into the annual cost of operating the vehicle. Now another cool thing about owning an electric vehicle is the possibility of further reducing driving costs by making your own energy. Last year, we installed a solar system that produces enough energy on sunny days to fully charge both of our electric vehicles. Now, while it does cost money to install the solar system, there are often incentives in the form of tax rebates or credits and the ability to lower your home's electric bill to help lower overall household energy costs. And I've also happened to come across some free charging stations as well. Some grocery stores, electricity co-ops, and other areas have these. While I don't get a lot of miles in my car, it is kind of a good feeling to know that while I'm out spending money, I'm also getting some energy back in my car from free charging. I bought my Tesla Model Y at a time when the gas prices weren't much of a factor. Although recently, I can say I very much appreciate not having to pay $75 to $100 every time I want to fill up the gas tank on my truck. So my question to you is this, is the entry price into an electric vehicle still too steep to make it financially viable? Or do you think that gas prices will start to get some people thinking about going fully electric? Feel free to share your comments in the section below and also let me know if there are other questions that I can answer either in the comment section or in an upcoming video. And if you want to hear my thoughts after 18 months of owning a Model Y, you can check out another video that I have on my channel and I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like button, and if you would, please consider subscribing. It really goes a long way to help me promote the channel and to share more content with you. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one.